In a career field that you can earn you an average salary of $50,000 to $100,000, you might not expect to see kids trying their hand at it. In an effort to turn screens into a learning device rather than a distraction, the men, Rutland's makerspace and CTC International, teamed up to hold an hour of code for kids ages 8 to 12. PEG TV's Ashley Nelson was there to see what these kids were coding and just how fun learning can be. Today we're at the Mint and one of the things that we did today is we hosted an event called Hour of Code. Hour of Code is an international initiative to introduce young children in the community to developing applications and coding to take them from just playing on their iPads to using it as an educational item. Experienced coder Samantha weighed in on her experience at the Hour of Code. I uh, used Bitbox and I learned how and I did some more coding. I actually do coding at home so this wasn't that new to me but it was really fun. Avery expressed the importance of transforming a child's screen from a distraction to a learning tool. Kids these days spend a whole lot of time with iPads and iPhones and technology is one of those items where it can be beneficial to a child's development or it can be detrimental to a child's development. And teaching the kids at a young age that coding is something that they can do allows them to build their own apps and utilize those apps themselves instead of having apps that are coming from other places and turns it really into a, instead of being a distraction, it now becomes an educational experience for them. When asked how they would convince their friends to start coding, nine-year-old Megan Chipka and Samantha had similar responses. Um, you get to make fun apps and they're fun to play. I would tell them that if they learned how to code in the future, they would be able to make apps and games and that they can do really funny things like explode cats and dogs. <laughs> Circle Technology Collective, or CTC, plans to turn this from an annual event into a monthly event, not only for children, but for adults. So our code initiative is done internationally. Uh, it's hosted during the month of December and it happens all over the country. Uh, our company is opening an office here in Rutland in February and once that office opens we're going to expand that to also being a monthly initiative that we're working with kids here in the community. Uh, those programs will not only be available to the kids but we are hoping to expand that to adults as well and it won't just be coding. Uh, it'll be technology initiatives across the board so adults will learn about social media, uh, general computer use, email use, things of that nature. To learn more about the Hour of Code, head to hourofcode.com or you can head to Circle Technology Collective's Facebook page for more information.